Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we will we'll try a little bit experiments how to counting vehicle and we will try to detect the speed of uh, each vehicle on the road yeah so what we're gonna do and what we're gonna need is uh, open CV application and uh, visual studio 2010 I'm using uh, visual studio 2010 okay I will share uh, to all of you how to made it come true let's go first we will try to open the source code I will share you the source code how to count the vehicle and how to measuring the speed of the object detected and in this source code I'm using BGS or we call it background subtraction algorithm that already found by Mr. Andrew Sobral he is one of my college from Brazil he developed the BGS library to identify Vihaisal moving object. I'm gonna make a little bit change of his source code. What I'm gonna do is I will try to save the counting data into database and into text file. Okay, what we're gonna do is first we should identify what library what what kind of library that we will need uh, this one is part of if you want to save the data into my sql server and this one is uh, we will gonna do play with text file we will save into text file and window we're gonna be uh, using a library from windows and string and time time will generate uh, the current date time that will be used uh, to record the counting data into file or database server okay this one is tick count get tick count is a library that provide by visual c uh, this tick count will uh, specified into very uh, very specific time in millisecond or day okay this part is I'm gonna to get the current date time will be used to the data later and this one if you want to save the data into my sql server this part is initialization to my sql server this one is uh, ident uh, initialization of connecting to database mysql and this one is insert data into mysql okay this one is if i want to processing the data and will save the data into GSV GSV same with this one and if we want to save the data into TXT format TXT I'm using this function to get time in and time out and we'll save into TIN.txt and TOUT.txt okay and then this function is uh, counting we will gonna not need this routine and okay which one is that b if we if centeroid position coordinate is more than uh, parameter object it will show on the screen state A and if centroid 
koordinat on y kuadran is smaller than uh, object that we define it will show on the screen state b okay this is all of we need how to count <coughs> ha the best part is how can we identify the speed of uh, the of object of vehicle Oh, so this one is uh, the way the way how we count how we measure the speed the first time is you need to identify the active track active track uh, with ID number is 4 so every object on the screen will make a movement so every object will have many active track maybe they have 20 active track maybe they have 10 active track so uh, in my project I'm trying to find the active track with within the ID number of the center centroid is uh, 4 and then we gonna get the active track with the ID is 8 so we have uh, we have coordinate different coordinate the first time coordinate with ID 4 and the last is coordinate on x coordinate with the id is 8 okay we will save the data and save to the in function on txt and 8 is the out in txt and and then we will count the different between coordinate last coordinate and the first coordinate I repeat it again we should count the, the difference between the last coordinate on uh, x x uh, x line to uh, first coordinate and the results will be saved into file jarak.txt Okay. At this time, we have uh, distance variable. Okay, distance variable will save into jarak.txt. Okay, and then we will show. I will show you the counting time. Uh, this one will print in, uh, into the system the current date time and it will show on the screen what time what time the object position is same is same with uh, with uh, standard line i mean parameter line parameter line on the screen okay and then after we get a distance the next step is we need to find out the time the time between we get the first coordinate on x and the last we the end the time for we get uh, the x value uh, that we have already done on the before before uh, before activity so <clears throat> we get a uh, time first time and get the counting using the get tick count function and save the data to take in 
and match uh, counting again and save the data into tout.txt okay the data will be saved into integer type so that we can uh, make uh, arithmetic operation uh, for another uh, purpose and then uh, cc cc is declare declaration of the result of the the difference between time we first get the the the, the first time we get the object and the last time we get the object okay the result is b minus a and we we'll calculate to 0 0.0001 this procedure will convert uh, the time result into millisecond okay and the result will save into jarak.txt okay jarak.txt okay sorry sorry uh, it is one is not save the data into jarak but this procedure get the distance get the distance from the txt that we have made before and define the type of uh, data is integer and declare as my file tree okay now we have already have uh, the distance value and the time value so to calculate the speed we just need to divide it uh, the distance divided the, the time millisecond okay this one is function to find out the speed and calculate to 0 0.01 why I give uh, the system will calculate to 0 0.01 because this one the is uh, calibrator value calibrator value I mean for the several uh, experiment I am get the real uh, the real speed if I uh, point the value with 0 0.01 okay and this one is will show the speed let's see what will be what will be going to into our experiment okay let's see okay I'm, I have many cam software here and this one is the video output this one is V high cell counting this one is block block tracking and this one is I'm gonna show you the block object movement Okay, complete. Okay, on the screen now we have already total amount maybe two thousand and ninety eight fee Every fee will record it into file. The time that they pass the parameter line and the speed of each VI cell okay you can see a white car a red car and blue car black car uh, bl red car 54 
eighty-three, thirty-nine, seventy kilometer. Okay, we will see and we will make sure the data is already saved into file. Okay, we will see this one on the keluar CSV. Okay, WordPad. Okay, this is the data. And finish. Thank you.